also at Fox News Alert on the Benghazi scandal. As we learn of a new letter to Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid, where 37 Republicans call on Reid to follow in the House's footsteps and establish a select committee. This comes as Nancy Pelosi, House Minority Leader, discusses what the role of her party will be in the new House panel. Are the Democrats going to participate? We'll see. I mean, the point is, is we want to show the public how unfair this process is. It should be evenly divided. They don't want it evenly divided. We said we should have equal access to witnesses. They said you may not even ever have access to witnesses. Joining me now, Ed Rollins, Fox News contributor and former White House political director and deputy chief of staff to President Reagan, and Bernard Whitman, former pollster for President Bill Clinton and a Democratic strategist. Nice to see you Thank both. You. Good to be here. Ed, let me ask you first. Sure. Now we're going to the, the Senate. A select committee, that's what the Republicans want. Is this, a, is this time well spent? Is this where the resources I, I would, should go? I would prefer, let's just have one committee. I mean, I think part of the problem is we, we should have special committees two years ago and really investigate this thing. We've had eight or nine investigations all going in different directions. We need a focus. And the focus now becomes because we didn't get all the documents, which was proven by the Judicial Watch a couple weeks ago. I would hope that Mrs. Pelosi would put Democrats on us. Let's have a hearing. Let's go look and see what happened to this ambassador, why he was murdered, why he didn't have proper protection, what he was doing at a complex far away from the embassy, and what was the role of the CIA, and equally as important, uh, how do we protect in the future? Well, this is Bernard about that, about Nancy Pelosi. Some have viewed her comments sort of cavalier. Well, we'll see if we participate. We're not sure at this point. Is that the right tone, Bernard? And you know, what do you think about well, that? Well, I've got real concerns about the committee and how it's being structured and, and uh, the ability of the Democrats to be able to call witnesses, to be able to get access to documents and not have to sort of sit by in a committee that's basically going to be a sham, politicized investigation used to damage uh, Hillary Clinton and raise money for the Republicans. Having said that, you said it a does, lot there. I'm sure Ed has something to say about it. It does, <laughs> it does concern me that we'd have an investigation where the Democrats would not be absent, would, would be absent. I think that uh, just in terms of the way that this should be done, I agree with the, the speaker. We should have an evenly divided committee with access, but full access not, to either no way. But, the, but the But the fact uh, it, it, that the, Repu the Democrats would simply sit it out is of great concern to me. And I, I, well, first of all, every committee in the House is always divided up by who has the majority. And my issue here, and I would agree with Mrs. Pelosi, they should have access to witnesses. The witnesses will be there in front of them. They should basically be able to, to, uh, sure. to be there and have their points and counterpoints. My, my fear is that let's have one last investigation. Let's find out what really happened and let's get it done. Uh, because I think, as I said, we lost four Americans, and I think that's the Just key a real thing. quick final question, Bernard. Is either side really giving Americans what they deserve. Well, Either yeah. side, taking it to, let's take policies out. Are we going to get what ultimately is the truth and what American taxpayers uh, want you know, I agree with Susan Rice. What we should be focusing on is what can we do to strengthen the security of our embassies and our consulates. I think the State Department put out a report in January with a number of recommendations, many of which are already being implemented. And I think Ed is right. This has been investigated to death. We've had eight or nine investigations. I'm not sure what any more investigations and additional documents are going to actually turn up here. We've already given over 25,000 documents, what else are we going to be but able to find? But you still would think the Democrats should participate. If, if you hadn't, if you'd given up a couple I would, that were out there last week, we wouldn't be having this discussion. Well, maybe <laughs> we should have a limited investigation on those specific documents where the oh, Republicans man. and Democrats both I don't know that you're solving bureaucracy with more bureaucracy. That seems to be sort of the theme today. Let's we're talking about the VA, the select committees. A report, a report that, and if the Democrats aren't happy, they can write a minority report that really sort of lay out the facts. All right, we'll see what happens. Ed, great. Bernard, Thank great you. to see you both. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.